Kwa Mplunga opposite Mountain View. What we see on our left is quite a common site. It's an illegal dump site on the side of the road. Of course, this is because there's no education as to where the way should be taken. The municipality has provided some skips, but in fact, this encourages people to continue dumping in the wrong space. We are here because the department had a memorandum of understanding with Waste Aid so that we can assist to enhance the recycling programs on the ground, especially plastic. There's a plastic lying around all over the wayside, the streets, so we need to reduce that. And that we can do with partnership. They are coming to us, they are giving us opportunities. If this project, if we are successful, we are going to roll out this program to other villages. If waste is not just waste, waste is money. It's a very much successful project and everyone's coming to make sure that we support it, making sure that it grows bigger and bigger. As Waste State, we can't do everything alone. Having departments of environmental affairs with us has assisted us to establish stakeholders, understand who the beneficiaries are and should be, as well as work with all the various forms of government as well on municipal level, provincial level, and we've also established relationships with the traditional leadership. None of that would have been possible without having that understanding that God you have of their communities. The community can now realize that it is crucial to respect the environment, put waste where it belongs, not all over around. Even the illegal dams are reducing as a result. The waste site is also manageable because all the people who are working at the waste site are also receiving training, which is facilitated by Waste Aid. My name is Ursula Goliswali Luso. I am a facilitator, a trainer. I love helping people understand their relationship with money. The importance of having goals that are realistic. I always say, look at three or four things. That would make life easy for me. Financial literacy is one of those courses that I like to train first, budgeting. You need to be able to know how to budget. For one, to start being financially independent, flowing from the budgeting, record keeping, to now then see, be able to track where your money is going. The third one, I always say having specific goals, of having goals that are achievable. You must be smart, okay? And when you hear smart of the time frame, you now then need to divide long term, medium, and short. I really like her. She thinks for all people. She wants to help people like me. At this moment, I'm hustling. I'm a hairdresser. I'm also recycling plastic, as you see. We learned about how to manage our waste, how to manage money and business management. I can tell that I didn't know that there are different kind of waste and they got different kind of wages. In this organization, I've learned that there's money in waste. I can deliver some of their message in a different way. For an example, in the Masibambi Sani project, I use my art skill to design some murals on the walls just to advertise the thing that you are doing, to show people that a waste got money and to show people that a waste got money also. I use my voice. <laughs> Saga Uidobe, which is, means they must just pick up every plastic they coming across. And this is going to make a difference in their lives. The program is running very well, covering a wide scope. And with the knowledge that the community is getting from Westway trainings, it really shows that you're getting somewhere. Cleanness is next to godliness. At the end of the day, you get sick because of yourself, not taking care of your environment. I can say I'm an architect. With the skill I have, I've used it in Masibambisani to design bins in the aggregation bay so that our waste could be locked there and be safe before we go and recycle. Having these bins in these different zones makes our job to be so much easier. There are many things I've learned in this training. I must be specific in what I want when starting a business. My goal must be measurable, achievable, 
and realistic. Masi walisane help me a lot when it comes to waste business and other form of businesses. When collecting waste, what I want, not just to collect waste and go recycle and get the money. I'm grateful for the experience and the knowledge. My dream, I want to start an NGO. I want to help poor people and I'll open a center and I would like to help those who are dealing with trade and abuse. So not far, I'm not doing a farmer and specialize in dealing with cattle. And I want to build an office for a future. After that, I'm going to buy the car. After buying the car, sometimes you go outside to see the nature. I can't get money if I'm not working. And I can't get the house that I am dreaming to have it while I don't have money. I have to get money through my work, which is recycling. We want to see Mpumalanga become its own processing centre so that it can form more circular systems in South Africa, where waste is not only exported to international markets, but held within the country so that we can grow our manufacturing, processing, and also the waste management industry here in South Africa. My dream, I want health and happiness. Without happiness, there's nothing to wake a cup for. That's why happiness is the first thing. Even if you have money, but without happiness, you can't reach anything. <laughs>